We may never get a good Fantastic Four movie, but we'll gladly settle for more of The Incredibles. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things we need to see in Incredibles 2. Meta Man, Express Elevator, Diner Guy, Snag on Takeoff, Splashdown, Sucked into a Vortex, No Kicks! Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at storylines and characters we want to see explored in the long-awaited follow-up to Pixar's superhero Tour de Force. You have powers! <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> Number 10. Fun Times with the Family The Incredibles was such a well-written film that it not only won the Oscar for Best Animated Feature, but also scored a nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Even if writer-director Brad Bird took the crime-fighting element out of the equation, the ingenious banter between the Parr family would have been more than enough to keep us entertained. The dinner scene in particular pretty much defines the tone of the film. The Pars might possess superpowers, but it's the everyday situations they have to deal with that make them so identifiable. You must have been booking. How fast do you think you were Bob, going? We are not encouraging this. No, I'm not encouraging. I'm just asking how fast Honey! you were going. Honey! Moments like this remind us why we love and relate to these characters. So hopefully, Incredibles 2 can capture that same wonderful interplay and chemistry. Number 9. More of Frozone and his wife. Lucius Best, aka Frozone, was a supporting player in the original film. Of course, much like Nick Fury, another character played by Samuel L. Jackson, this ice-powered superhero managed to dominate every scene he was in. Where is my super suit? I, uh, Likewise, his wife Honey only got a few lines and never even appeared on screen. Yet, this couple's argument over the greater good stands out as one of the film's funniest and most quotable moments. We are talking about the greater good! Greater good? I am your wife! I'm the greatest good you are ever gonna get! Whether he's aiding the Parr family in a fight against evil, or still looking for his super suit, we'd love for Lucius's role to be expanded upon in Incredibles 2. While they're at it, why not show us what Honey actually looks like? Number 8. More of Jack-Jack's powers At first, baby Jack-Jack appears to be the only member of the Parr family without any superpowers. In the final act, however, it's revealed that this infant is much more incredible than meets the eye. The hilarious short Jack-Jack attack offered an even greater display of what he can do. So far, Jack-Jack has exemplified a wide range of abilities, including levitation, shape-shifting, teleportation, phasing through objects, and shooting laser beams out of his eyes. Does Jack-Jack have any other powers? Will he learn to master these abilities? What's it like raising a baby with such special needs? These are all questions we want answered in Incredibles 2. Number 7. More of Edna Mode Edna Mode is another character that left a huge impression despite her limited screen time. Brad Bird even won an Annie Award for his hysterical voiceover performance. Providing the Parr family with their super suits, this over-the-top fashion designer left us wanting even more of her. I'm machine washable, darling. That's a new feature. It's been reported that Helen Parr will take center stage in Incredibles 2 which could potentially make leeway for Edna to have a larger role. Maybe Edna could provide Elastigirl with backup in some way, whether she needs an inspirational pep talk or assistance in the field of action. We're sure Edna will also have some new costumes in store for her, which brings us to our next entry. Number 6. New Costumes The Incredibles red and black outfits are iconic, but they're so 2004. Being the fashion-forward designer she is, Edna probably wouldn't allow the pars to keep wearing the same old jumpsuits. We bet Edna would jump at the opportunity to create a new ensemble for the family, especially considering how eager she was to get back into the superhero business in the first movie. Edna could just give their old costumes a few upgrades, or create a whole wardrobe of super suits for various situations. Perhaps Edna will even design a line of costumes for other superheroes coming out of retirement. If you're going to save the world, you've got to do it in style. Number 5. A Strong Villain as memorable as Syndrome was, it'd be repetitive if he were brought back to life for Incredibles 2 and went after the Parr family again. At the 2017 D23 Expo, John Lasseter mentioned one of the antagonists in this sequel would be the Underminer, who popped up at the end of the first film. Does that mean the story will borrow from the 2005 video game Rise of the Underminer? Well, in any case, it'd also be fun to see an entirely new villain, or perhaps a villainess. 
The Underminer could even assemble a team of supervillains, which would truly provide the Incredibles and their allies with a worthy challenge. Number 4. Self-Referential Humor When The Incredibles hit theaters back in 2004, the superhero genre was just starting to make a comeback with blockbusters like X-Men and Spider-Man. Now it feels like a new superhero flick comes out every other month. Disney even acquired Marvel Entertainment in 2009, and the MCU has since become the highest grossing film franchise of all time. It'd be kind of a missed opportunity if Incredibles 2 didn't have a few nods to Iron Man, Captain America, and other Avengers. The filmmakers could also poke fun at how dark and gritty some other superhero franchises have become. Since superheroes are so popular nowadays, there's no shortage of material to satirize. Number 3. Explore the World The Incredibles naturally centered on the titular family, but the audience often got the sense that they were merely a small part of a much bigger world. Back in the glory days, we see Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, and Frozone tango with street criminals, as well as baddies like Bon Voyage. Although the Supers were eventually forced to hang up their costumes, they seem to be back on the rise following Syndrome's defeat. Does that mean other superheroes will come out of hiding and join the Incredibles in the fight for justice? Are they going to usher in a new era of heroes and villains? There's a whole world of possibilities waiting to be explored here. Number 2. Government vs. Superheroes In many respects, The Incredibles is a bit like a family-friendly version of Alan Moore's Watchmen. Both stories center on superheroes that give up crime-fighting once costumed vigilantes are outlawed. When heroes from yesteryear start turning up dead, though, several supers unite to get to the bottom of things. It'd be great if Incredibles 2 continued to explore the themes presented in Watchmen. Given the damage that often ensues, and the politics involved, saving the world isn't as straightforward as it seems. Sometimes conflicting ideologies can even result in civil war, which would be a fitting direction for this sequel to take. Number 1. Acknowledge the Time Lapse By the time Incredibles 2 comes out, its predecessor will be almost 15 years old. While it's been confirmed that this sequel will pick up where the first film left off, that doesn't mean it can't still acknowledge the time lapse. The film could jump ahead at some point, showing us what Violet, Dash, and Jack-Jack will be like when they're all grown up. Since time travel is also a popular trope in the superhero genre, older versions of the Power Kids could also journey back to the past. We want to see these characters mature, like in Toy Story 3, as opposed to some other animated franchises that forever remain frozen in time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.